Glory to God. Saints, um, I noticed something that over time that you can get high in the spirit. You know, I've never I've never got drunk with wine or beer. And I've never smoked, you know. Never smoked a cigarette, never smoked weed, none, none. But I realized that God will make you high. And it's real. It's tangible. And, he, and he'll intoxicate you. And we not just saying like a theory in your mind, okay, I'm intoxicated by God, but I mean like literally. Like you'll feel the physicality of being high. Because the spirit, remember the spirit of the Lord is the person of God inside of you. Think about that. That's God almighty inside of you. So imagine God being inside of you and he's the most high. So that most high going to start becoming tangible within you. And let me just say this to you as well. Study the times in your life where God is making you high and praising for it. Because there's a reason why he does it. it. It comes with a peace as well. But those dimensions start increasing. <laughs> they start increasing the more. <laughs> they start increasing the more you start praising God about it. But you, you're going to have to start acknowledging that he doing it. It's like you ever did something for somebody and then it's like, you didn't want to keep on going further if, like, say you giving somebody some juice and, like, they're not interested in the juice. Well, you're not going to keep on pouring juice. You see what I'm saying? But if they show interest and say, whoa, that's good, you say, you want some more juice? You see? That's the spirit realm. Hallelujah. 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 So when, when you acknowledge the, the, the high abilities of the father, the drunk abilities of the father, he keep on taking you higher in that same grace. And saints, you know, I never used those natural substances, but I know off deck that being drunk in the spirit and being high in the spirit don't have nothing to do. It don't have no type of comparison whatsoever. The reason why I never smoked, I think that I had a vision when I was a small person. I was small in my small body. And in the, in the vision, I had smoked. And when I took a puff, I died and I was leaving my body. And I saw my body laying on, uh, I think it was like a concrete or something like that. And when I was up in the air, like alleviating Looking down at my body, the father said, don't ever smoke or you'll die. Something of that sort. I, I kind of forgot that that time because, you know, it, it was never my interest to do those things. But, you know, just talking about this, I kind of remember but that was a vague thing to me. That was when I was small. I probably, I had to be about seven or eight. So all throughout my life, you know, that was something that uh, I started observing now as I get older, I'm like, wow. Like I've spent most of the, the time in ministry like intoxicated. There's a reason why God do that so that your soul could remain unwounded you can stay inspired. You can stay uh, effective in the ministerial assignment on earth. <laughs> if God didn't have me drunk and high, I could not give you the level of wisdom. I'm not talking about natural substance. I'm not, I don't drink none. I don't smoke none. But I'm saying if he didn't have me drunk and high according to the spirit, these revelations wouldn't be here. Three secrets of the virtuous woman. Three secrets, secret weapons of the virtuous woman. The virtuous woman has received the transference 
of spirits from God Almighty. And the virtuous woman has a new nature in the glory of God flowing out of her being. The virtuous woman has the presence of the Lord engaging her constantly. The great God Jehovah enjoys the presence of the virtuous woman. The Lord does not want to live without the presence of the virtuous woman. The father, when the virtuous woman comes into the earth, he studies her from a distance. But there comes a time where he wants to connect with her. He'll let the virtuous woman go around in circles and make her decisions and do her good pleasure according to her intent of her heart. There comes a time of connectivity and activation and discovery and returning home in the spirit realm. Because your home in the spirit is dominion and not struggle. It's focus and not distraction. It's safety and not crashes. It's deliverance and not destruction. So your home field advantage is in the spirit. The virtuous woman is the assistance, the governmental assistance of God. The virtuous woman is the governmental assistance of God. A virtuous woman was created with an apostolic function to assist the governmental benefits of God to flow to all that's associated with her via the Spirit. A virtuous woman is a blessing spirit, a blessing vessel, a vessel of blessing and honor. The Lord has bestowed upon the virtuous woman supernatural insight of how to escape the bad habits of average women. Our average woman has the world's DNA inside of her. She has worldly seed within her mind. But the virtuous woman has crossed into the secret place of the Most High God. She dwells there. As Ruth sat at the feet of Boaz, the virtuous woman sits at the feet of King Jesus. Ruth and Boaz was a carbon copy of the virtuous woman path. Naomi represents the wisdom angel. Naomi represents the wisdom angel. And Naomi is training Ruth of how to unlock favor on earth. Naomi is advising Ruth of what's going to please Boaz.
Naomi represents a wisdom angel. Whispering in the ear of Ruth of how to unlock her inheritance on her. The first woman that you see God making in the form shaped like that. I read something earlier that was shocking. I'm going to show you this here. Well, it's only shocking because I got a revelation on it. You probably probably already heard it before. My God, I feel I feel power. Debrosta ta 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 ta. Chinese tongues, Chinese tongues. Since you ever seen a Chinese person living at their neighborhood, they be talking to each other through the window. Blessed be God. Want to slap one? Stop! You the one that started this whole coronavirus in the first place. The demons was talking to y'all first. Was y'all? Y'all the demons. Then you start looking at the nail, the nail, the nail person differently because you start realizing. No wonder y'all used to wear masks on your head and masks all over y'all face because y'all knew that it was coming, demon. Y'all prophetically knew that it was coming. No wonder y'all was wearing masks in the 1990s. You, you 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 sensed it in the spirit. The, the spirit of China. I said the I said the spirit of China. Act like you ain't know what was happening. You knew it was happening. That's why you were trying to get your tips ahead of time. You pit I this only cost thirty dollars. You pit fifty on it. Doggone it. No wonder y- y'all were trying to make sure that every Get their tip in early. <sighs> Since that'd be funny, you'd be up there trying to get entertainment and they won't pit on the Chineseans. Now, I'm going to stop this. I repent, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm not watching this no more. I repent. This ain't, this ain't, a, <laughs> the Chinese people done messed it up. I don't want to see no Asian. I, Father, I just repent and turn, <laughs> turn my life. It said, if you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart the Lord Jesus, he shall you know, play the sinner's prayer all over again. First Timothy chapter 2. Huh? <laughs> First, First Timothy chapter 2. The Chinese people come on, everything just go down. You, no, I'm not. It's my phone slowing down today. My phone slowing down today. First Timothy chapter two. <laughs> First Timothy. <laughs> you ever try to use a stranger phone and their phone up there glitching? You trying to type four in there? Oh, phone them. Four phone them. You trying to type it? <laughs> you trying to type it? Phone them five, six. All the numbers keep on glitching. You're like, what's going on here? And then it's, they start telling you, "Well, my phone a little glitching. You know, I got to get that fixed." Get... You over there looking over them at the side? It's glitching, huh? Mm-hmm. This phone smell funny too. <laughs> Phone might be glitching, but the phone smell funny too. Huh? What you got to say about that? <laughs> Why does phone smell like popcorn? <laughs> Why it smell like movie theaters? Huh? Huh? The phone smell like movie theaters. First Timothy chapter 2, <laughs> verse 
13. It says, for Adam was first formed, then Eve. Adam was first formed, then Eve. You know the shocking thing about this text? Here's the revelation. It says Adam was formed first. Form is like a root word for formula. Now, we also know the Bible talk about having a form of godliness. This woman did not receive her form first. God gave the form to Adam, then brought her out. She came into her form secondarily. Which means that this woman never actually found out the formula to her form. Because the serpent tricked her through distraction. And Satan has been doing that to woman for ages now. God gives you a form. You on the earth. You are a woman. It don't matter if you're a rectangular prism. It don't matter if you're a square or a triangle, a Bermuda triangle or a circle. But he give you a form. <laughs> He give, he give you a form, bless God. He going to give you a form. You know what I'm saying? You going to have a form. But I should have said that anyhow, because I just said form in there. But anyhow, he give you a form. You have to seek the face of God to find out the format, the form of love. That keeps that form at its tip top shape, at its height, at its pinnacle. See, Abigail had a form, but her form of love was to walk in the wisdom of a serpent to get that provision into David's hands and the hands of his men. Rahab had a form, but the form of love, the format was to protect King Joshua's men. So Mary Magdalene had a form, but her form of love was to become attentive, a sower. A pleasurable encounter. Respectful woman. A supernatural assistant. Mary Magdalene had metamorphosis. It was a metamorphosis into the wisdom angel. I got to go back to 1 Timothy chapter 2, ah, verse 3, chapter 2, verse 13. For Adam was formed first. See, his form and then his formula was keep and tend the garden. I give you herb bearing seed. But now the woman is formed and her formula is help and then meat. See, you looked at it like help meat, compound word. But really, it was help and meat. Now, Adam was her name. I want to take you into a deep statement here. First Timothy chapter two, verse 13, for Adam was formed first, then Eve. I want to show you something that you never saw before. and You're never going to hear this taught again unless somebody duplicate my teaching. It said Adam was formed first. That woman was in that form. Eve was another form 
that was not intended by God. Adam was the form that God wanted for both the male and the woman, the female. Because all she was going to do is help the man complete his formula. So the Eve formation, the forming of Eve was an evil thing. Because the form should have stayed Adam. The fact that Eve came in the scene, that means that the form has been. Um, it has been corrupted. It means that fraud done, t fraud done took. Fraud done took place in the form. That's why this woman is not functioning in her election. Because the form. The form was just Adam. See, Mary Magdalene. The reason why King Jesus let her keep her name because her name was still Mary. Because that's what the Lord did to this woman via the spirit, via the assignment. She was helping him. That's why she, he tell her when he get out the grave, go help me out and go tell Peter. But really her name in the spirit was Jesus. The reason why she moved the way she moved because her name was Jesus. The reason why the woman at the well was just called the woman at the well, she was nameless because her name was Jesus. The woman at Zarephath, why we don't know her name, her name Elijah. The Seraphonician woman, why we don't know her name? Because she was a Seraphonician woman. She had some Seraphonician dustiness. But now her name. Is Jesus. She unlocked that name through diligence. She unlocked that name. Because all, all we see manifesting through her is diligence. King G has already called both of them. Called them both dogs. But the diligence made him still put his name on her. 